The other uh, most important element of your home office gym uh, is always going to be a good selection of free weights. However much I like other equipment, other health equipment like uh, spring expanders or rubber band, um, the free weights uh, are essential for any kind of progress, any kind of uh, bodybuilding um, efforts, um, not just in uh, home, at home or the gym, but in the normal gym. Um, so um, before you consider which free weights you're going to use, um, you need to uh, decide are you going with uh, standard one inch uh, free weights or with Olympic free weights, which is the difference is that the uh, weight plates for Olympic weights are not one inch, but slightly wider, two inch wide. Some countries um, only have Olympic weights, but in UK uh, I have a choice between uh, Olympic uh, type free weights or old fashioned one inch stand uh, the normal weights. Um, all the equipment uh, related to Olympic uh, weights, Olympic free weights, um, the dumbbells, barbells, or and the, more importantly, weight plates going to be more expensive than one inch one. And so, uh, as as you can see, I'm using old-fashioned one inch uh, plates. Um, the other um, important uh, advice I must related to free weights: don't use vinyl uh, uh, plates. Um, they are um, not robust enough. But more importantly, they are bulkier than far bulkier with the same weight than uh, cast iron weights like this. Um, for instance, um, this dumbbell at the moment it's a uh, twenty-two kilograms. I can probably uh, increase the weight to. 50 or 55 kilograms with it but um, if you uh, using vinyl weights uh, the maximum you probably will be able to put it around 15 or 20 which is not nearly enough for any kind of pro uh, long-term progress um, the other important element of the uh, dumbbells and barbells to have uh, very good locks, uh, not plastic metal one, and preferably it have to be really secure. Uh, you don't want any of those weight plates dropping on your leg and smashing half of the bones in your foot. Um, so I go for this one where very secure. Um, the drawback of locks like that, um, beside the fact that they're going to slightly scratch the surface of your barbell or dumbbell, um, uh, they are not so easily interchanged. So uh, if you uh, want constantly change your weights, you're probably better off uh, using spring-based locks. Uh, I use those quite very occasionally. Uh, normally with four uh, dumbbells 
uh, have sufficient flexibility for any kind of supersets um, without need of constant changing of my weights. Um, the other advantage of this type of dumbbell system, uh, you can uh, adjust it quite easily. For instance, if one day I need uh, more weight, I can just find a longer rod. If I need wider handle, all I need is to find the appropriate uh, diameter pipes and cut it uh, how appropriate to my wrist. So this is a good selections worked very well for me. As far as barbell concern, um, ideally uh, you need uh, at least one barbell for uh, certain exercises. Um, this triceps barbell is uh, slightly shorter than uh, any other barbells, straight barbell or uh, Z uh, shape barbell. And it's um, relatively versatile. Um, I can do um, triceps lift or over my head, head, either standing or lying down. I can even do biceps curl um, with it. I can uh, do the lifts, uh, soldier lift, what they called. So is enough versatility in this barbell. So of all the possible types, uh, this one I chosen to have. Um, so I hope these um, considerations are of use. So to, con to conclude it, avoid um, vinyl. Um, cast iron plates are good enough for anyone unless you are um, crossfit uh, fanatic who love uh, smashing their dumbbell and barbell on the floor. Um, the steel plates are great, but they will cost you lots of money. Uh, locks uh, have to be incredibly secure. Um, this is a, um, probably most dangerous element of uh, free weights. Um, so good luck finding uh, enough and uh, old-fashioned uh, cast iron plates on eBay. <laughs>